there, friends, Nibs again. Out here in the garage, doing a little bit of goofing around tonight. <clears throat> and I have a, a new uh, CO2 revolver I really wanted to show off to you guys and do a little bit of review for you. Um, I haven't set up the chronograph. We're just going to be shooting this guy to, for tonight and uh, talk about how it shoots and do a little practice with it. But uh, I did mount up a CV Life red dot on here but what we have here is the umer x uh, they call it the brodex 44 super magnum and this is a pretty cool gun um, <clears throat> it is a co2 powered gun and it has a co2 cartridge underneath the grip here uh, there it goes so the co2 is underneath the grip and it does have a wrench built into the cover for the Tighten up the CO2 cartridge. I've got probably, I think, I think this is the fourth magazine. So this would be uh, after we finish this. I've got two shots already shot on this magazine, and after we finish this, it'll be 40 shots, 10 round magazines. <clears throat> uh, I have heard that you can get upwards of uh, 80 to 90 shots out of a CO2 cartridge with this. So I'm still thinking we got plenty to do this uh, this little review right here without having to put a fresh one in. I did spend a little bit of time and zeroed this um, red dot, but one thing I did do and I wanted to show you guys was, and somebody had suggested this, it's not directly my idea, I thought maybe I could do it, but um, I actually took, so I did buy some extra magazines, I haven't even wrote in the package yet, but I did take one of the so these, this gun is comes with three BB only magazines, uh, and I'd read online that you could buy the magazine for uh, the Umarex Colt Python, which is a steel disc that takes pellets. Good luck finding one of those. So somebody had suggested that you could drill out the holes, and what I actually found was I found this uh, Brad Point. 3 16 bit actually bores those holes out really nice and I actually did it by hand because you don't want to go all the way through because if you go th all the way through then the pellets will just fall through the other side so I went and just left a little shoulder uh, on the back side through all 10 holes and it really works really well but we're going to shoot it first with BBs and I'm really glad that I can shoot this with pellets because I do like to plink with these uh, silhouette targets and things like that and uh, that's not real safe with uh, BBs uh, maybe we could use the dust devils but uh, I really like having the option of being able to shoot pellets in it too so let's go ahead and shoot I think there's still eight shots so I'm gonna shoot four in single action where you cock the hammer first and then I'll shoot four in double action and see what kind of difference we can get with that So this, oh, where's the, there it is. This gun does not have bad sights, but I can shoot this thing so much better with a red dot on it. And it shoots really good, even with BBs. So now I'm going to go in the upper left quadrant. There's four, you know, two lines that intersect with each other. So I'll aim for the center of that shooting double action now. A lot better for single action. That's better. Definitely did a lot better single action, but uh, that's a spongy, very spongy trigger pull in the double action trigger. It's got a really nice trigger, actually. Let me uh, let me get the Lyman trigger gauge here. I don't even know if this thing will go heavy enough to uh, so we can do it without the magazine in there. So that'll be better. 
Let's just do a couple of quick pulls with that. Um, well, I guess it's not that bad. Four pounds, 11 ounces. Let's do one more. Oh, five pounds, five ounces. So it's kind of unpredictable. But let's go ahead and cock it and uh, try the single action. One pound, 13 ounces. That's why it's so much better. And one pound, 14 ounces. A lot more consistent. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and uh, I'll shoot. Now I'll shoot the, uh, the pellets. So some of these pellets aren't quite snug in there. So you got to be careful. They don't tip out of there. But once you get the magazine into the gun, they're, they're just fine. They cycle really good. <clears throat> so let's go ahead. We'll shoot. Uh, I'll shoot half the magazine uh, at the target, and then we'll try plinking at some uh, silhouettes here. Same hole. Ooh. did better with the BBs. This is a smooth bore, so, um, and I'm running, let's see, these are the Meister Coogans, but uh, let's go ahead and see if we can knock down some silhouettes. Hit the ram first. Just enough power to hit that, knock that ram over. All right, pigs, no problem. Turkey, just barely. I think I hit them way low. All right, I got two shots to get the chicken. Well, I need the two shots. No. <laughs> All right, let's see. So now I've got a shotgun shell down on the board down below it. Easy. Nice. There you go. <laughs> that is uh, pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and... Uh, I've got one more, there's our pellet magazine all empty. I've got one more magazine full of BBs and let's just uh, do a rapid fire. Oop, gotta remember to close the bale on it. Let's just do a rapid fire, uh, actually let me uh, uncock it. We'll do a rapid fire double action at the, uh, uh, back at the target and uh, see how many I can't really tell what's going on there. I think that was it. Nope. That was it. <laughs> Lots of fun. Not so much in the rapid fire. I'm not really much of a rapid fire kind of guy. I don't do much of that, but uh, it's a pretty accurate gun when you take your time and, uh, and work with it. Uh, especially for a smooth bore. Uh, this was, uh, without the red dot obviously, was under $40. So that is, that's pretty darn awesome. I got three more magazines from Amazon for about six bucks. So I could actually make a couple more uh, pellet magazines if I wanted to. But for now, I think the one is sufficient. It turned out pretty good and they shoot pretty good. Uh, good enough for plinking that's good enough for me so anyway i hope you guys liked the video till next time have a great day